Alright, hi guys. Uh, let's start the next episode of 5 MCQs in 5 minutes through which you are actually revising 5 ultra important topic. This series is equally important for NEET PG, NICT and FMG aspirant. Currently, I am discussing actually FMG June 2021 question. Most of the question if you are going to see here has already been asked in either INICT or NEET PG examination. The very first question that we are having which of the following the longest acting phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor. Now phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor all of them sildenafil, tadalafil, vadenafil all of them are phosphodiesterase 5 inhibitor. Sildenafil lasted for 6 hours. Vadenafil also lasted around 6 hours. Tadalafil around 18 hours. Tadalafil lambe samay ke liye. Lambe samay ke liye. Tada lambe samay ke liye chalega. Tadalafil Tada, lumbar samay ke right? This can be utilized mainly as a drug of choice in a patient with the erectile dysfunction. It can also be utilized in patient with the. It can also be utilized in a patient with the pulmonary hypertension. Pulmonary hypertension will also be can utilize. Embrinon is not phosphodiesterase five inhibitor at all. Embrinon, miltrinone, they are actually phosphodiesterase three inhibitor. Just call them ionodilator. What do we call them? We call them ionodilator, and these ionodilators are mainly utilized in a patient with a congestive heart failure. And they are having ionotropic action plus vasodilating property. And phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitor. Now, this is the same table that we have sildenafil lasting for how many minutes? And likewise, you can see around 17 to 18 hours we are having tadalafil, and around 6 hours we are having sildenafil and vadenafil both. A patient with history of depression was prescribed a drug which increases the serotonin and noradrenaline. Which type of drug will increase the serotonin and noradrenaline, guys? The drug that can actually increase will be actually serotonin noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor. Serotonin, noradrenaline reuptake inhibitor will increase the level of serotonin. It will all also increase the level of noradrenaline. Which of the following antidepressants act by inhibiting the reuptake of both serotonin and noradrenaline? Simply, you have to identify which is an SNRI. Fluoxetine is one of the SSRI. What about venlafaxine? Well, venlafaxine, well, we'll see. Voltioxetine, milnacipran. Voltioxetine is having multiple uh, mechanism of action. It's a receptor modulator. Plus, it is also one of the SSRI. You know? It's one of the receptor modulator. Plus, it is also having you know, serotonin transporter inhibitor, CERT inhibitor. You know? Citalopram is also one of the SSRI. Venlafaxin is the only one among the given list that is SNRI. Now, sometimes they also ask this question, which is a SSRI, which is an SNRI. So, uh, here I am having the list that is all the SNRI, that is serotonin, noradrenaline, reuptake inhibitor. And very simply, you can remember by the story that I always tell you in class, that venlafaxin sounds like a famous ice cream, that is vanilla, right? So, whenever there is SNRI, it will increase the neurotransmitter to duals, right? Duals, uh, uh, vanilla. Duals, my love. Try buying vanilla and go home today with vanilla. It will dual out your love, believe me. Vanilla, duals, my love. Very, very easy. Vanilla, duals, my love. Dual, matlab, do. Anna? And on the other hand, if you are going to see SSRI, that is going to be your drugs like your citalopram, right? Acetalopram, citalopram, acetalopram, and drugs like your fluoxetine, drugs like your fluoxamine, fluoxetine, fluoxamine. Paroxetine, drugs like your sertraline, these are the drugs that are coming under the SSRI. Among the given choices, venlafaxine is the one that has uh, SNRI property. Next, a pediatric patient presented with the iron overload. Multiple time repeated question in every examination, NEET, PG, INICT, FMG, sub examination, me question aata. I don't know why this topic is very, very favorite for the examination. Examiner, antidote of choice for iron overload is going to be deferoxamine. Deferoxamine is the antidote of choice. Ball and EDTA, we can use it for lead and D-penicillamine, we can use it for copper. And I always give you the same table and this table is always going to be very, very helpful. You can definitely expect one question. Atropine uh, toxicity, may we will be using drugs like your physostigmine. Morphine ke liye we can use agent like your naloxone, copper ke liye deep penicillamine that I have already told you which is uh, you know a chemical antagonist, iron ke liye deferoxamine. However, if you are going to see that there is a, a oral chelator, oral may, I used to say deferiprone, deferiprone and other one that we know is your defera serox, defera serox, lead ke liye bal or EDTA, either of them. Paracetamol, we are having N acetyl cysteine. Digoxin, ke liye we are having TG bind. Benzodiazepine toxin, revise karte re sa, because reverse, revision is the key, definitely. Eh? Flumazenil, flumazenil is mainly used as an antidote for benzodiazepine. Beta blocker, ke liye we are having glucagon. 
and a benzodiazepine is just twice repeated right so i hope all of you guys have got this one and in addition to this please don't forget to remember forced acidic diuresis and forced alkaline diuresis usko bhi yaad kar lijiyega a child presented with excessive salivation and secretion with garlic odor garlic odor the word aata hai mainly we think about arsenic although we do not have any antidote of arsenic but this is not arsenic because there is excessive salivation and a secretion heart rate is also lesser do you know that in a patient with organophosphate poisoning also we are having garlic odor breath na so organophosphate poisoning carbamate poisoning both in condition where we are having atropine as antidote of choice right adrenaline can be utilized mainly in anaphylactic shock it is having multiple other uses but it is having no role in a patient with the organophosphate or carbamate poisoning and organophosphate carbamate poisoning they are the irreversible acetylcholine esterase inhibitor that will increase lots of acetylcholine so patient will have lot of cholinergic symptom right a pregnant female was exposed to lithium in pregnancy in early pregnancy the child will born with this anomaly i think it's pretty simple the correct answer for this one is abstain anomaly and whenever we do chest x ray for this one we are going to see box shaped heart box shaped heart right to so, tin se banta hai box never forget it's not tin se banta hai box box shaped heart फोकोमेलिया कैन बी एक्चुअली एसोसिएटेड विथ ड्रग लाइक फोकोमेलिया कैन बी एसोसिएटेड विद ड्रग लाइक योर थैलीडोमाइड थैलीडोमाइड फीटर हाइडेंटोइन सिंड्रोम कैन बी एसोसिएटेड विथ योर फेनीटोइन एज अ ड्रग इन एडिशन टू दैट आई हैव गिवन यू मेनी अदर यू नो टेराटोजेनिक ड्रग का लिस्ट प्लीज गो थ्रू दैट एंड इफ यू नीड टू हैव द टेराटोजेनिक ड्रग लिस्ट यू कैन चेक इट आउट इन माई इंस्टा आई हैव ऑलरेडी गिवन दैट इन माई इंस्टा एज वेल यू कैन जस्ट टेक अ स्क्रीन शॉट एंड यू कैन कीप इट विथ यू दीज आर सम ऑफ माई इंस्टा यू नो सम ऑफ माई सोशल मीडिया हैंडल इंस्टा डॉक्टर सिराज अहमद अंडर स्कोर फार्मा टेलीग्राम पे मोस्ट ऑफ द पी डी एफ विल भी अवेलेबल फॉर ऑल ऑफ यू गाइज टी डॉट एम ई डॉक्टर सिराज अहमद और टी डॉट एम ई एफ एन जी सोल्यूशन बोथ ऑफ दम are my insta handle so thank you very much for connecting with me and thank you very much for having your patience and revising these five mcqs in 5 minutes or five topics in 5 minutes please do not forget to like share and subscribe i'll see you in the next session thank you very much